Hey everyone, Core here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a box intro. Um, it's not the best, and uh, it would be a lot better if you used After Effects, but I suck at After Effects, and uh, if you're like me and are not good at After Effects, then uh, you can make one in Photoshop. So let's go up to File, New, uh, change it to a Film and Video, HDTV, or 1280 by 720 and then hit OK. We're going to double click the background to make it not a layer and what I like to do, you can make the background however you want, but what I like to do is go to background black, go to brush, change the brush to 65, scroll the whole way up to 2500 and then click in the middle and there's my background. Next, uh, make a new layer, make sure that you make a new layer and then go up to the rectangle marquee tool, hold down shift, now if you don't want to make a perfect square then don't hold down shift, but hold down shift and then drag out a perfect square and then uh, you can fill it in with black. <clears throat> uh, you could also make it however big you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, hold down control and click your background. Uh, make sure that you have the arrow selected. Make sure you're on your uh, box layer. And then you can come up here and then hit the two in the middle and center it. Then uh, hit control J to duplicate your box. And then hit control T to trans uh, free transform it. Hold down shift, drag from the bottom, and then drag it in a little bit, however, uh, however much you want. Uh, the you know the outline of the box to be then hold in uh, control and click the outside of your box as you can see it's the outside and then make sure you're on the layer and then you can center it uh, the inside of the box and then hold down control on the inside of the box and as you can see it selected it and then make sure you're on the outside of the box and then you can hit delete and then hide the inside of the box and as you can see you have an outline so then hit control to uh, and the control plus to zoom in a little bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control J on the on our outline and do it three times to make uh, that way we have four copies of it uh, hide the other three that we just made and we're gonna work on the first one um, make sure you're on the marquee tool and then delete this like just scroll in like get right at it and then drag it out and then delete the uh, the left and the right I mean the left and the bottom and then also uh, delete everything but whatever side you want to work on. If you want it to start at the bottom then you would delete the right, the top, the left, the right, you know, just however you want it. I'm going to make it start at top. Hide this layer, work on the next layer. Uh, now delete whatever uh, two you want. I'm going to delete the bottom and the left. Uh, turn off that layer. Next, uh, delete whatever one you want, uh, whichever way you went. Um, I'm going to delete the left one. And then on the fourth one, you can just keep it everything. Then what I like to do is after I do all that, then I add my effects. I do it after that way, I don't mess up. So then I put it on a drop shadow. I just keep it the same, uh, which would be opacity 75, distance 5, size 5. And then I also hit bevel and emboss, change it from technique to smooth to chisel hard, and then change the size the whole way up to 250. Now, usually you can copy these. There we go. Nope. Control Z. Oops. Copy effects. Think. Copy layer style. And then you can uh, paste layer style. Make sure you do this to all of them. Uh, that way everything is the same. And this way you don't have to do it all over. There we go. And as you can see, everything has the same layer style. Now, uh, we're going to... Um, on the box, the full box, we're going to hit control J and then we're going to put it in our text. So hide this and then we're going to put it in our text. The font I'm using is the Call of Duty font which is Bank Gothic MD uh, BT and then I um, just put in GV and then hold down control and click the outside of the box as you can see it selects everything and then you can uh, center this like you did uh, the boxes before and then we're just going to paste the layer style as well that way it's the same uh, you can do it however you want but that's how I want it and then we're gonna hit uh, our text and the box we're gonna click them both and then hit control E which is gonna merge them together so they're one thing and then we're gonna hit control J and then we're gonna turn that one off and work on the original and we're gonna delete the V now you don't have to do this if you're not gonna add like letters but if you want the letters to pop up individually as well then uh, like that as you can see so now we're gonna start saving so file save as desktop make a new uh, folder intro pics and then we're gonna save them as JPEG so save the background first make it B oops BG um, also make sure that you're saving in the quality 12 maximum that way you get the best quality possible uh, now turn on the first layer which is the the first uh, like 
part of the box. JPEG 1. And also make sure that when you're saving that you turn off the other layers. As you can see, if I don't, then the shadow of the first one is there. So make sure you turn it off and it will look, because uh, it will stand out. So save that one as JPEG 2. Now you all could also save these as PNGs if you want. And then they would have no background if you want to change the background. Oops change the background or whatever but uh you know I'm just gonna save it with the background that's way it's easier for you guys to follow and uh less confusing. Hit okay. Make sure you save each one individually and make sure that you don't mess up. Uh, make sure that one isn't turned on on any of them and all that stuff. I have done that before and then I had to redo everything. Also make sure that you save your projects um, in case you do mess up because uh, I messed up once before and I didn't realize until I already deleted everything you know and then I was like crap so then I had to redo it it wasn't that hard but you know it was like another 20 minutes out of my life I didn't have to you know so save the last one six there we go now we're done in Vegas again save it just go to file save whatever and now we're gonna open up uh, Vegas so um, now I'm using Vegas you could also use this in um, Windows Movie Maker anything that can split uh, clips so intro picks oops intro picks drag all these in and then what I like to do is I like to zoom up where you can see the 15 oops the 15 oops zoom up until you can see 15 it's like 15 and 1 if I can get this there we go 15 and then 1 and then 1 15 and 2 and then just start dragging in your clips so go to BG make sure you're on it and then hit S which is gonna split it and then delete the rest um, oops drag in the first one go over the exact same if you want at different times you know you can choose whatever time you want I think the 15 the one or well, like the 15 is, which is half a second is the best time if you don't think that then you can add it however long you want um, just you know it's all preference for you guys I'm just showing you that how to do it and then on the last one I like to make it a second and a half so uh, from 3 to 415 and then I like to go to transitions flash hard flash at the very end and then as you can see what that does is it makes it flash from you know it fades out to a white um, also scroll the whole way to your right as you can see it goes to black so if you don't want that uh, go frame by frame until you get to the brightest white which is right there make a new layer insert video track and then uh, go to media generators view media view media solid color white or whatever color you want and then you can drag that over and now it just fades to uh, white. Yep. So we're going to select all this, go to File, Render As, Box Intro, and then uh, depending on how good your computer is, how, uh, how fast the processor is, it uh, depends on how long it'll take the video. As you can see, it's only a four and a half second video. It's already taken eight seconds, and it's probably going to take like 20, maybe around there. You know, it doesn't take long, but it does take a little bit, especially when you're waiting for it, like I am right now. Let's go. <laughs> 20, there we go. 23 seconds. Eh. So we're going to open it up, and this is what you get. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.